You will be going in and doing full sets of vital signs on your patients. You will be monitoring their oxygen levels and reporting to us any changes that are happening, okay? So, oxygen, we need it to, to live, right? It's our life source. We have to breathe to live, right? We need oxygen. Anybody have any idea how long it takes before we are considered clinically dead without oxygen? How many minutes? Anybody know? Anybody swim? Been swimming? Not had oxygen for a few minutes? Yeah? How long could you go without oxygen? 30 seconds. Okay, 30 seconds. Anybody else? Two minutes. Two minutes. Anybody else? Okay, four minutes, guys. You have four minutes to get oxygen to your patient before they are considered dead. Okay? If we do bring them back, they're not going to be right. Okay? They've had oxygen deprivation. They're not going to be okay. Four minutes. You guys are our eyes and ears out there. Okay? You know our patients. You see them. You notice changes in them quicker than we do because we don't get to them as fast as you do, okay? Okay, so yes, everything I'm telling you is tested and it's relevant, so take some good notes. Okay, oxygen is abbreviated O2. We will say, what is their O2? We are asking you, what is their oxygen level? Their parameter is 90% to 100%. We are looking at oxygen saturation levels. Or their SATs. Okay, so you guys are going to be recording, charting, and reporting to us their O2 SATs. Okay, that's their oxygen saturation levels. How do we get their oxygen saturation levels, guys? What do we use? Pulse oximeter. Pulse oximeter, perfect. We use a pulse oximeter, okay? Every time you do vital signs, you are gonna be checking their oxygen levels using a pulse oximeter, okay? The pulse oximeter checks their heart and their oxygen, right? What does the heart do? Who can remember? What does our heart do? Anybody? We all have one, I hope. Unless you're a walking zombie. It pumps blood and oxygen through our body. It pumps oxygenated blood through our body. That's how our cells get oxygen. Okay? So the pulse oximeter checks our heart rate and our oxygen saturation levels, our SATs. Okay? Okay. Um, all right. So. What if we have a patient who is hypoxic or has hypoxemia? What is that, or hypoxia? What does that mean? What does hypo mean? Below. Below, okay. What are we talking about? Oxygen. So what does hypoxia mean? Not sufficient oxygen. Right, they have low oxygen levels. Okay, our patient is they have, they're, they have hypoxia or they are hypoxic. Okay, how are we going to know if they're hypoxic? Can you measure with a pulse oximeter? Perfect, what are we measuring? She said we measure using a pulse oximeter. How are we going to know using that pulse oximeter if they are hypoxic? What is that going to tell us? Okay. Okay. How do we know that they're hypoxic using that? If it's below 90. It's below 90%. Good answer. Okay. You are comparing your patient to your normal parameters, guys. That's why we give you those normal parameters. You're going to use the pulse oximeter to get their saturation levels. Compare it to your parameter to find out if they are hypoxic. Okay? If they are hypoxic, we are going to give them supplemental oxygen. Okay? How we will do that is give, we will put a nasal cannula, starting with a nasal cannula. Okay? You've all seen the tubes that go in the nose, around the ears. Okay? That is called a nasal cannula. 
that will, um, and it's abbreviated NC, so you guys will be charting on this stuff. Okay, it's NC. It will um, flow a half liter to six liters. Okay, we measure oxygen in liters. Okay, so a nasal cannula, we will hook our patient up and we will give them anywhere from a half liter to six liters on an NC. Okay? If that doesn't work, we've done everything we can to get their oxygen levels up to 90. We will go to a simple mask, abbreviated SM. A simple mask will blow six to 10 liters of oxygen, okay? If that doesn't work, we will go to a non-rebreather mask, NRB. This mask is designed so that they do not, the air does not circulate in their mask. When they exhale, it goes out these valves and they are breathing straight oxygen. 70 to 100% pure oxygen, okay? If that is not sufficient for our patient, they will end up on a ventilator. They will be vented. These are your patients who are in the ICU. They are unconscious. These are the patients you do uh, Q2 oral cares for, okay? They are vented. They have a machine breathing for them. These are also used when you go in for surgery. If you go under general anesthesia, you will be hooked to a ventilator. It will breathe for you. When you go in for general anesthesia, they put you completely under. They give you a paralytic, which means you are completely paralyzed. So they have machines doing the work for you, okay? Um, you might see these in rehab units too. Um, you might have a patient who uh, might have had a spinal cord injury. So they've been damaged from here down. Um, they're awake, but they need a ventilator to breathe for them. Okay. Okay. I'll read you a puzzle. 